Lubbock was really successful for us, um, able to go there a short trip and do some things that we needed to do. Um, Batari Ruganera, number one in the nation, the 800, ran really well, 149 for his first race of the year. So a little bit unexpected, um, hasn't been, didn't get to run cross country, was a little injured. So for him to come out and do that, that was awesome. Also ran a great leg on our distance medley relay. So I would say Batari was our, our uh, definitely our best performance at Texas Tech, along with many others. But uh, nationally, I think uh, he really put himself in the national meet there in the 800. Um, then Zeta swoops in Albuquerque, just did her thing. She had an injury in the fall on her finger and wasn't able to throw for about three months and then just still able to be number one in the nation in the shot put and then have a personal best in the weight throw. So successful weekend at both places and uh, hopefully we can get to Albuquerque this weekend with the weather and try to do some more things uh, Saturday, Friday and Saturday this week. This has nothing to do with how your athletes perform, but last week they made the announcement there was going to be an injury. Indoor facilities that they were going to build that y'all were going to get to use. You may or may not be here when that's done. Yeah. <laughs> like, how, how does that make you feel for your program? I know that's in the future. Oh, it'd be it'd be a game changer for us, just recruiting wise and then training wise. I think you know usually the distance runners can get out and do something in whatever weather, but when you're a speed power athlete thrower, you know it's hard for us to train. Like I guess Wednesday and Thursday, we're not, we're not going to be able to do much this week. Um, so to, just to have a place and be able to go there and then have meets here and. Not, be, not have to travel would just be awesome. So we're really excited. Hopefully it happens. You know, it's been a decade probably I've been here. We've been talking about it. So hopefully it ends up happening and we're able to uh, have that indoor facility and bring indoor track to Amarillo. And I think it'd be good for our, our community and high school kids, high school meets, and just give everybody the experience of indoor track, which is, which is awesome to watch. Well, well, we'll try to do something today since it's going to be pretty nice, and then we'll uh, see what the weather holds. And we leave Thursday, so hopefully we can get there. But the biggest thing this weekend for us is we have a multi-event, so a heptathlon and a pentathlon. So those don't happen every weekend. We need to get those done for our athletes, and then we'll have a few of our other athletes that are coming off COVID or haven't been able to run. They'll run. Uh, Benjamin Azamati will run the 60, hopefully. So try to get him going. Um, so it'll be a big weekend. Just hope we can get there. <laughs> How difficult is it with all these road trips? Because that, that was one of the point of contention with the groom last week. Is, you know, you're used to it, but it, it's got to get old after a while. Yeah, well, it's it's it just gets old as far as you know. Usually, we have to go to Kansas a lot. So Washburn has a track, Pittsburgh State. So just eight-hour drives every weekend just gets pretty old. But this this year, we've been able to go to Tech a little more. Um, and then we've been able to go to Albuquerque, which isn't too bad. But having a 300 meter flat would be nice too. Uh, both those have 200 meter banks. So being able to have the 300 meter flat in our area would be uh, definitely advantageous for us. And um, cut down on travel, we could probably just go to Tech and be at home every weekend. So that'd be, that'd be awesome for us.